Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be opening 036. The 36th opening that I'd like to share with you today is the Burner opening. So this is actually uh, named after one of the uh, legendary online players, uh, probably since uh, the days of playok.com. Uh, I believe he might have started even earlier. So he's a, I think he is a Chinese uh, Othello player from China, basically, and... Uh, he probably specialized in this opening, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So that's at least what I know. So let's just run through the sequence. So it's just an extension of the Sakaguchi opening and just a side variation to it. So let's go F5, D6, uh, C4, D3, C5, F4, and then basically the usual Sakaguchi sequence up to C2. So over here, instead of going for the most common C6 response for white, you actually choose to play to B4 as a sub variation. So even though you do give that reduced advantage back to black, but you induce that uh, variation early on in the variation before you actually go into a sequence that is probably too easily uh, memorized or well known by your opponent. So if you go to B4 um, over here, the last move that triggers that response to the burner opening which is B3 over here for black uh, and then basically that is the burner opening. So like all cat uh, and Sakaguchi variations, uh, uh, the dragon opening is avoided so that's the pros. I mean it could also be a con but uh, Generally, dragon opening is very hard to play for both players, and instead, uh, it could be an advantage to actually select an easy to play opening uh, variation if you're up against a player that you're aware uh, of that might be stronger than you. So, that could actually be a little bit of game theory or, or tactics to actually select an easy to play opening against an opponent that you are pretty sure is very difficult and uh, can actually handle a lot more complexity of the game than yourself. So if you do limit that game to an easy gameplay, it could actually be an advantage. But uh, of course, if you feel that you are stronger than your opponent, uh, choosing that easy uh, mid-game play uh, would, could also be a disadvantage over here, uh, along with the reduced advantage of playing this opening. So I think uh, it's relatively uh, easy response for white to actually just jump into C3. But of course, the sequence that follows for black to actually regroup is uh, equally easy as well. So if you do realize if you exchange, uh, most of the moves are actually pretty intuitive for both sides. So if you feel that um, you are confident against your opponent, it's probably uh, not a good opening to actually use against your opponent but if you feel that your opponent might be a little stronger than you uh, this could be a safe strategy to adopt so on that note i'll end off this video and leave you to decide whether uh, when you want to actually pull out this opening